Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. Uh, so today I wanted to show you a small little DIY setup that I have done. Uh, usually you get these uh, small plastic containers on IKEA or online in order for propagation or for cuttings or even for seed germination. But I didn't want to spend much money so I did a little bit of a DIY. Uh, this is the same old uh, fish tank that I used to put my orchids in in order to water. I then realized uh, why to simply waste this fish tank. I can rather uh, use it for something else. Orchids can be watered because I do have ponds. I can just keep the orchid in that semi-submerged and it will work out really well. So these are some of my seeds. This is a seed box that I tend to store all of my seeds. Uh, even this is a recycled container. I had got a... Uh, a gift hamper so i thought rather than throwing this box it can be easily used this is a recycled box basically out of uh, uh, old paper as you can see and this uh, surface that you're seeing is not wood but it is plantain uh, basically a plant based uh, material that has been used and looks absolutely uh, amazing uh, the box is very very sturdy i think it's almost a couple of years old this is the plantain uh, what they have applied on it and it is a very sturdy box so I tend to use it to collect all of the seeds so this is the seed box uh, a lot of seeds uh, some of the seeds are from my garden itself I tend to collect uh, the seeds and I just name them and I keep it aside uh, so this is the blue pea and morning glory seeds I was able to collect a lot of morning glory seeds I will be sowing them very soon this one was the white one so I've kept it aside and most of the seeds I had purchased this year were for the winters but unfortunately uh, due to the renovation and paint work I was not able to sow any of the winter seeds so probably next winter now it's too late because it's already summers if you remember I have been collecting a lot of seeds from trust basket because their seeds uh, germination rate is very good and very good quality and a good number of seeds so there were a lot of seeds from uh, trust basket uh, but I was not able to sow them and now um, probably I'll try and see if there is any seeds that uh, are throughout the year kind of growing ones but winter ones I won't be able to put in any of them probably some marigold or something that I can um, you know sow the seeds and uh, we will see what is going on so we will see about that uh, now this is the uh, fish tank that I was talking about now you can see there's a little bit of water droplets uh, because I have uh, used a plastic sheet now the best thing is I didn't have to pay anything the plastic was just lying around at home I have used it I have used some paper clips to hold the plastic because on the terrace it's very very windy so you have to be extremely careful so I had sowed the seeds probably three days back or four days back I don't remember and the biggest mistake what I did is I did not name the seeds that I put in so the three containers thus let me take it out first so there is a lot of water droplets so here we go so the only larger one i know that it is uh, the uh, cosmos but the rest three of them i completely forgot what seeds i put i mean i know what seeds i've sown but i don't know which seeds are in which container because they all three look the same and uh, what i seen today is uh, one of uh, them has started to germinate uh, I don't know what exactly it is I should have uh, labeled them that is the biggest mistake that I did but nevertheless we will see how it tends to work so the tank looks really bad because there was a lot of uh, paint that happened to fall on it and it was of no use uh, you know keeping water in it so I thought I'll use it for this this is the best thing so the large tray the square one has cosmos um, again all of them were planted three days back so I'm eagerly waiting for them to uh, show up something uh, only one of them has germinated so we will see now what i've done is um, at the base i have put some leka so these containers are not basically sitting in water they are sitting on leka and there is less than one fourth of water that i have added so that it can create a good amount of uh, humidity now the cracks developed when i was putting um, the pot inside because i had put a layer of uh, garden soil very thin layer of garden soil to cover the seeds but when i was putting the uh, you know the container inside it happened to get cracks the cracks are not because of uh, dryness but uh, there is a good amount of moisture the soil is slightly moist so don't think that uh, you know it looks like it is completely dried it is not dried it is moist uh, there is a layer of coco peat beneath that's why the cracks tend to look like that but uh, overall it is doing quite well so let's see how and what happens next so far uh, it's just been two to three days uh, but these were the 
fast growing one so let's see what happens next i should have uh, the biggest mistake as i said i should have labeled it i didn't that's my mistake so the leka is basically um, to hold the pots so that the pots do not come in contact with water otherwise uh, they will be constantly uh, soggy wet which can rot the seedlings or the seeds will not germinate that's why i have used leka so that the containers can sit above the leka without it coming in contact with water at the same time there is going to be a good amount of moisture so uh it was a very good option i was able to put in some more so once they germinate and once they reach a couple of inches i will take them out and then i will probably put some more of uh, uh new seeds whichever is available i'm thinking of putting some marigold seeds so let's see how it tends to work out so it was a very easy if you have any container like this large container and you do not want to buy it i think this is going to work out really well Uh, all you have to do is just put a plastic sheet above it and uh, you will get that greenhouse kind of a effect not only seeds you can even grow propagations in this put them inside uh, a leka container or uh, any kind of container and put them inside this for couple of days uh, once they start to root then you can take them out so that's all about it i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating